What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Robles from Apple Insider. You can follow me on Twitter, at Stephen Robles. I'd love to hear what other videos you'd like to see here on the Apple Insider channel, whether it's how-tos, reviews, or how to build some Siri shortcuts. And that's actually what we're gonna do today. We're gonna build a simple shortcut that can set high-quality, high-resolution images as the wallpaper or the lock screen on your iPhone or iPad automatically. And you'll be able to schedule it to run at certain times of day, so your wallpaper will just change all by itself and show you a new image. Or you can program it to do something called the back tap, which is an accessibility feature. I'll show you how to do this too. But I have the shortcut program, so when I tap the back of my phone, it runs the shortcut and it actually changes my phone wallpaper automatically. I don't have to confirm anything. I don't have to interact with the shortcut at all. And I can tap it as many times as I'd like and it will change the wallpaper. So I'm gonna teach you how to build it. If you just wanna download this shortcut on your own so you can just run it, you don't have to worry about all the steps, I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can click the link, load it onto your iPhone or your iPad automatically, and it's ready to run. Tap it and you'll get a new wallpaper automatically. So you can build this on your iPhone or iPad as well in the Shortcuts app. I'm gonna do it on the iPad just because it's a bigger screen, it'll be a little easier to see, but it's four simple steps. I'll show you how to customize it a little bit and then how to automate it so you can have fun wallpapers that just appear on your phone randomly or when you interact with the shortcut. So here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is open the Shortcuts app on your iPad or iPhone. It looks like this S icon right here. If you're not sure where it is, you can swipe down and search for it. I'm gonna to tap to open Shortcuts there and now I'm in the Shortcuts app. Here, I'm gonna hit the plus icon. And again, this works on iPhone or iPad. And now I'm ready to build it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is tap in this search box up here, and I'm gonna search for URL. And you'll see one of the first options here is URL, so I'm gonna tap that. And here is where the magic happens. This is where you actually put in the link to unsplash.com that pulls in that high resolution image. So I'm gonna paste it because I already have it on my clipboard but I will put this in the description below the video, or as you can see, you would type in https colon slash slash source.unsplash.com slash featured slash question mark. And then after the question mark is actually the search term you would use for the kind of photo you'd like to find. Maybe it's ocean, water, beach. You can change this, and even after you've finished building the shortcut, you can change this to something else maybe like water. This is actually pulling images from unsplash.com. And if you're not familiar with Unsplash, it's a royalty-free stock image website where you can download high-resolution images for free. And this is actually pulling their images based on your search criteria. Now, the second step, I'm gonna search again in this box, and I'm gonna search for Get Contents. And this Get Contents of URL, I'm gonna tap that, and it adds it as a step. I don't have to do anything else. Search again for get images, and you'll see get images from input. That's what I want, so I'll tap that. And one final step, I'll tap in the search box, and I'll search for wallpaper. And you'll see there's the set wallpaper action right there. If I tap that, that's the final step of the shortcut. Two little customizations here on that final step. First of all, you can choose to set your lock screen home screen, or both with the image that it pulls from Unsplash. I'm gonna tap this, and I'm gonna just choose the home screen. I don't want it to change my lock screen, I just want it to change the home screen. So we'll do that, hit done, and just tap this little arrow next to the show more, and where it says show preview, you wanna turn that off. Because I don't wanna to have to interact with the shortcut at all for it to run, I just want it to change my wallpaper automatically. So I'm gonna turn that off. That's it for building the shortcut steps. Now I'm gonna hit these three dots at the top just because I wanna rename it and add it to my home screen. I'm gonna tap the shortcut name and I'm gonna call it New Wallpaper. From there, I'm gonna also tap Add to Home Screen. And here you can choose a different title for your home screen. Maybe you just want it to say Wallpaper. And I'm gonna hit Add. And then I'll hit Done. And that's it, the shortcut is ready. Now if I go back to my home screen, you'll see the shortcut is right there, ready to run as a home screen icon. Now when I tap it, the first time I run the shortcut, it's gonna ask if I wanna trust unsplash.com. You can hit okay, and that's the last time that this will appear. And now I can tap the shortcut anytime I want, it will run automatically, 
and it'll change to a new wallpaper with that search term that I had in the shortcut. And that's it. This shortcut will actually sync to your iPhone if you did it on your iPad or vice versa, and you can run it whenever you'd like. Now, maybe you'd like to start pulling some different images from Unsplash. If I jump back into the shortcut that I made and tap in the URL here at the top, and instead of ocean, maybe I'll type river. And so now when I run the shortcut, it's gonna search on Splash for things with tagged river, and it'll show me a different one. Now, let's say you wanted to automate this shortcut. Now you can do that too, so you either wake up to a new wallpaper, or just changes certain times of day, or you can do the back tap on the iPhone. I'm gonna go back into the shortcuts app. I'll hit my shortcuts here on the top left. Again, this is on iPad. On the iPhone, it would be a little different, but there too, you would have this automation tab. And so here, I'm gonna create a new automation with the plus icon. I'm gonna choose create personal automation. And from here, I'm gonna choose time of day. I'll hit sunrise and I'll just keep it at sunrise and hit done. And I want this to run daily every day. Go to next. And here, you can actually tap this search box and search for run shortcut. And I'll tap that run shortcut option, tap that shortcut box, and I'm gonna search for that wallpaper shortcut that I built. New wallpaper is the one I just built. I'll tap to show more and make sure I don't need to do anything. Nope, you don't have to change anything there. Hit next. At sunrise, it's gonna run my new wallpaper shortcut. And where it says ask before running, I'm gonna turn this toggle off. And then I'll tap don't ask because I don't wanna to have to approve this shortcut every morning. I just want it to run by itself. So once I've done that, I can hit done. Now, every morning at sunrise, this shortcut is gonna run without me having to do anything. And I'm gonna wake up to a new wallpaper, maybe on my lock screen, home screen, or both, however you set it. And it happens every day. I wake up to a new wallpaper and I can change that search query in the shortcut URL anytime to start getting some different images. Now let me show you how to do it on the iPhone so you can program it as a back tap and it'll change whenever you tap the back of your iPhone. Well, to do that, we'll go to the settings app on your iPhone and from that main settings screen, you're gonna scroll down and go to accessibility. From there, you'll go to touch and you'll scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says back tap. I'll go into the back tap option and you see where it says double tap you can set it as a double or triple tap, but I'm gonna go with double, and I'm gonna scroll down to where I titled the new wallpaper shortcut, and I'll select that. Now, whenever I tap the back of my phone, it's gonna change the wallpaper automatically. So, let's test it out. Now, I can just double tap the back of my phone, you'll see the shortcut run at the top, and it will change my wallpaper automatically. And I can do it as many times as I would like. I just tap twice, shortcut runs, and it changes my wallpaper. There you have it. That's a simple shortcut that can automatically change the wallpaper on your home screen, lock screen, or both, and you can automate it for a time of day, back tap on your iPhone, or whatever you'd like. Let me know what other shortcuts you'd like to see here on the Apple Insider YouTube channel. Leave a comment below this video. I'd love to interact with you there. You can also tweet at me, at Steven Robles. Let me know what shortcuts you'd like to hear about. And hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the Apple Insider YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. And we have great podcasts on Apple Insider that you should definitely tune into. The Apple Insider podcast, I host that with other members of the Apple Insider staff. HomeKit Insider comes out every Monday where we talk about HomeKit and smart home devices. And Apple Insider Daily where you get the top Apple news headlines in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.